the spirit of the new year and getting organized, we're going to talk today about fridge organization. And I actually reorganized our fridge last year and I brought in some organizational bins from the Dollar Tree, of course, because it's awesome and cheap. Um, so I did do this system last year. So I want to go ahead and show you guys how our fridge is organized and how I've been able to maintain that organization throughout the past year. And I did also go grocery shopping today, so our fridge is nice and full, so you can really get a good sense of how I organize it on grocery shopping day. By the end of the two weeks, it gets very empty, so this is a good time to show you guys how I organize it. So let's jump right in. So I went ahead and just taped down this little switch that activates the light, just because the light was very yellow. But here on the top shelf, you can see we keep dairy products, non-dairy products, and eggs. That's um, what I've been doing for the past year, and it works really, really well, because you want your dairy to be very cold. So I know a lot of people tend to put it on the door, but it's actually best to put it on the top shelf in the back. That's what I've sort of learned over the years. So you, again, I have eggs here, and I just, you know, we'll have one or two at a time, so they fit nicely on this side. In the back, I have some of my almond milk. That's what I drink. I actually don't drink um, dairy, you know, cow milk anymore. Um, so I have three of those here. This one's basically empty, but I just have, you know, recently went shopping, so I stocked up. Here we have some juice for guests and for my husband mostly. And then we have his milk on the side here, so he drinks regular milk. So we have a couple there, and then this slides right here, and that is the top shelf. In the deli drawer, I do have some deli things that are for my husband, some uh, Munster cheese and some lunch meat that's there. I have some cheese again. These are not for me. These are for my husband or we are having actually people over for dinner tonight, which is what that is for. And in this little plastic bin, this is just a repurposed food container. I think this had strawberries in it, but I like to use them to sort of like divide spaces. Um, and I have some chocolate chips and some butterscotch chips left over from holiday baking. On the middle shelf, I keep bread products on this side just because they're a smaller size. You know, bread is always the same size basically, and it fits nicely under this drawer. So I just, you know, have figured out that a loaf of bread fits perfectly in this spot, and then I have some pita bread and some flat bread as well. And then in the very back, I do have let's see, a can of ginger ale and some miso paste, which I know is really random, but the ginger ale is there for just in case anyone in the house is ever sick. It's nice to have a nice cold ginger ale when your stomach is upset. Luckily, we haven't had to drink it for a while, but it's in there. And then the miso paste is an ingredient that I don't use very often, so it, you know, it's nice to keep it in the back and out of the way. And then on this side, I keep leftovers mostly. I sort of keep this area clear um, so we can have a spot for leftovers. But I did just go shopping, so I have a lot of berries, and they didn't fit all in my... Um, you know my fruit drawer so I just sort of stack them on the side here and then in the back we just have some uh, random things again like leftovers I have some coconut milk in that jar in the back I have some Tazo chai latte mix which was an impulse buy that I'm slowly going through and then a bottle of water in the very back on this lowest shelf down here, this is what I have really loved. Again, I did this last year and I bought bins from the Dollar Tree to, you know, just create my own organization and keep things divided within the fridge. So on this side, I have one of these really long bins that are nice and wide. I absolutely love these. I've also used these in my coat closet. And this basically acts as like another drawer. So it fits the whole shelf basically. This is me pushing it all the way back to the wall. So there's only a couple inches of space in the front. So it pretty much fits on this shelf perfectly and this is where I keep salad ingredients and herbs so I have here some kale some cilantro um, romaine hearts and then in the back I have a container of arugula or whatever salad green that I have for that week and again it all just fits in here nicely in the middle I keep celery just because it fits in this spot so perfectly it just goes all the way straight back in this front bin we always have apples at all times every season we just always have apples in the house so it deserved its own designated basket so I have that one in the front and in the back it's a little bit sad right now I usually keep lemons and limes I don't have any really right now I just have three sad little lemons and limes but again I usually have more I just don't have any right now so that is what that bottom shelf looks like and then in the bottom two drawers, again, this is very typical. We keep vegetables on one side, fruit on the other. Again, I just went shopping, so it's very full. This is what it looks like at the beginning of my two weeks. I have mushrooms and peppers, carrots and tomatoes on that side. This side, we have lots of citrus, because citrus is in season right now, and I'm obsessed with it. So we have grapefruits and oranges, kiwis, and pears in the back. So those are what we keep in those drawers. Again, that's pretty standard. 
but that is how we use them in our house. So the refrigerator door is of course another just sort of standard setup where you have condiments and jars of things. So we have just all sorts of things like mustard and jelly and ketchup and homemade jams and things like that. On this side I keep the things I use most often which is my vegetable bouillon and my minced garlic. I just seem to grab for those things very often. I have a teeny tiny little jelly in here which I just think is so adorable. I haven't had the heart to open it yet. On the bottom we have salsas. Um, tahini in the back, we always keep baking soda in the fridge, a larger thing of ketchup, some leftover pasta sauce, and some other random condiments. And of course up here in the little butter cabinet we keep butter, but our butter dish broke so it's in a Tupperware right now, but yes that is where it goes, so that is the door of our fridge. So one more area of our kitchen that we keep fruit is over here on the counter. This is my sort of kitchen office. And then I have my fruit dish here, which was a thrift store find. I love this clamshell. So I usually keep bananas in here. These are not so ripe right now, but um, they will ripen up. So I usually get a green bunch and then a yellow bunch, but I mean, this was as yellow as I could get today, but they'll ripen quickly. And an eggplant up there. So this is where I keep fruits or vegetables that are, you know, not, they don't really need to be refrigerated, but I want them just sort of contained. And so getting a really cute fruit bowl or vegetable bowl is a nice way to organize your counters for those items. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I organized my fridge. Hopefully that gave you some motivation to tackle yours. Again, uh, today was grocery shopping day, so I always love to wipe out the fridge on grocery day before I put all the new things in, when it's nice and bare and empty. Wipe it all out, get some bins, organize your you know, individual fruits and vegetables and meats and all that. And having an organized fridge is really great for families because everyone knows where everything goes and it just, you know, everything gets put away nice and neat and it's easy to find everything. So when a space is empty, you know, oh, that one thing is supposed to be there. We need more of that. So that is how we organize our fridge. Hopefully that helped you, and I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Happy organizing. Bye.